Hi. Well, back to work examples. And remember the joy of having had this fun of playing around with this figure. How many of you played music? All right? It's great, right? Music is max. Music is M. Music is M. Max is M. Max makes a difference. M A D. Max makes you mad. M A D. What is M A D? Max makes a difference. <laughs> Got it? Like to tell you again. M A D. Max. All right. Makes a difference. This M makes a difference. And what makes a difference? Max. And how do you get Max into you? Oh. You better learn all this, all right? Circular measure, triangular, whatever, tri uh, trigonometry, all that necessary thing. And of course, another very important topic that you're going to learn is about financial maths. We'll come to that another time. Now let's get back, focus, all right? We've got this circle and the radius is 13 cm, 13 cm. The length of the cord, is 10 cm. They want you to find the length angle AOB. All right. When they put this, take it as the minor angle. This, if it's reflex, they would specify the reflex angle. All right. The minor arc AB, the area of the minor sector, this whole thing, and the area of the segment, the minor segment ACB, and they want the perimeter of this sector. Now you know what. You know your trigo, so this maths, you got to sail too. Let's just redo it together. Now, we have this triangle. We have this triangle, 13, 13, and 10. Look at that. And it's an isosceles triangle. And when you cut it into two, the 10 becomes a 5 and a 5. And they want to find out what is this whole angle, A, O, B. So we said, okay, let's find out what is this angle here. You know it? Mm, what is it? We call this theta, all right? Or you're going to call it X, anything, leave it to you. All right? So theta, you look at what is given. Tuakaso, sine theta, all right? will be equals to 5 over 13. Now, if you put it in radian, that will be a lot more easier because you're going to work out the angle. You're going to work out the minor arc area of sector and all that. So you said, all right, put in radian mode, your calculator. Make sure that you have a R. Look at the mode and press and get it in radian. Now, inverse sign, bracket, 5 divided by 13. Press it and do you get a 0 0.39? 0 0.39479. And your theta will be an inverse sine. All right, sorry, sorry. You get, sorry, you get an inverse. I'm, I back your pardon again. Take an inverse sine because we already got your inverse sine. Bracket 5 divided by 13 and you got that angle which is a 0 0.39479 and if I were to put it in 3 SF is 0 0.395 radian that's your theta now I just want to convince you with angle what do you do again you just put it in a degree mode and you work out the angle now, when you got that in radian, this is the length, and you want to get A O B is two theta. So therefore, angle A O B will be twice of it. So you multiply. Ideally, you should leave this answer as it is and multiply it by two, and then you round up. You get zero point seven eight nine. Five. So it's 0 0.79. So this will be 0 0.790 radian. All right? So it's seven, 0 0.7895. I want 3SF is 0 0.780. So I just put it as 
0.790, I'm sorry, radian. Now, once you've got that, that is done, A, all right? Now, you look at B. You want to get the minor arc. The minor arc, you look at this. This is 13, this is 13, and this is 10. You want to get the length of the arc, A, B. What is the formula again? The arc length. Arc length minor arc length AB is equal to R theta. R is 13 and you multiply by 0 0.7. I, ideally, if you want the answer in 3SF, please go to your 4 and then you work it out. 0 0.7895. You can even go all the way. Multiply it by 13 and you will get 10.26. All right, 10.26, which is 10.3 cm. That's your arc length AB. Got it? Good. Now, you want to find the area of the minor sector. How do you find the area? You know the formula, angle over angle equals to area over pi r squared. So the area of the minor sector, all right, equals to half r squared theta, so the area will be equals to half. Your R is 13 squared and your theta is given 0 0.7908 or I can take this 78958 since I went all the way. All right, work that out my dear friends. 13 squared times 0 0.78958 divided by 2. Ah, I get 66.719, 66.7195, which is 66.7 cm squared. That's the area of the minor sector. Area of minor sector. Take note of that. Now, you like to work out that's the area of the segment. What is the segment that they are talking about? This, my dear, segment, ding, 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 ding. Right? To get this segment, you will learn in trigonometry. We know this length, this angle, which is 0 0.79 radian. And the area of the triangle is half AB sine C. Half AB sine C. So the area of the segment will be none other than all right, let's look at that. Um, the area of this segment, let me get that. 13, 13, and this angle, we want to find this segment. We know this angle is 0 0.79 radian. So the area is equal to half r squared theta. A very quick revision again, theta over 2 pi. Area sector over pi r squared. Bring the pi r squared up. Pi pi bye bye. 1 over 2 r squared theta. Always remember how the formula came about. That makes maths a lot more meaningful in what you're learning. And it's a lifetime learning. Alright? So your angle here is in radian. Very important. And that's 13 squared. And you get 0 0.3. You can use again the 7, 8, 9, whatever. But I'm going to just, all right, since I started with that, let me stick to that. All right, work that out. Half R squared theta. Ah, um, why am I doing that when I'm doing the minor sector? You saw that I'm repeating myself. All right, but what am I supposed to do? Let's get back to some. Kuma, wake up. Uh, Kuma, wake up. Ah. All right, sometimes we do things. We are repeating, and I get angry myself, which is very normal. I'm human. Are you? All right. What's the question asking you? Segment. Ah, so we needed the sector, and I'm just repeating again because I wanted to repeat that for you. Ah, but you are bright, isn't it? And what you need is the sector. So you've got the sector. This is what you need, the segment. So you've got the sector here, 
that is A1 I call, A2 is the area of triangle, area of triangle, what is that? Okay, half AB sine C, but please take note that it should be in radian, alright, and your A is a 13, your B is a 13, sine 0 point in radian 0 0.7895. Please do go ahead, half times 13 squared times sine 0 0.7895. It all should be, ah, oh, I got this lovely answer, 59.995. Now, hmm, you know, look at that, round up 3SF, you get 60 cm squared. Now, what will be the area of segment again? Well, the area of segment will be area of sector minus the area of triangle, which is half R squared theta minus half R A B. Because A and B are both R sine C. So, what I get is this answer, which we got earlier on, 66.7 cm squared minus 60, 66.7 minus 60 would give us a 6.7 cm squared. Great, isn't it? Very simple. All right, it's just that because we're doing the start of the sum and I just want to go slow with you, I'm being kind, all right? I don't want to go too fast and suddenly get you into a complex state. Oh, what she's talking? I don't know what she's talking. I don't want that. I want you to know what I'm saying and that rings in your head. Yep, it's A1 minus A2, sector minus triangle, and that's how you get. But once you become an expert, my dear, you can straight away get to this, and that's right there, all right? Now, once you've got the segment, they now want to find the perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around perimeter of the minor sector. All right, look at that perimeter, this distance, this distance, and this. Ooh, isn't it too quite easy, straightforward? Right, okay, this is a pretty kind sum. So in your E, all right, the perimeter will be equals to both the radius, two R's plus the arc length. And the R is 13 times 2, 2 times 13, plus the arc length, arc length, R, 10.3. So you add that up. You get 26 plus 10, 36.3 cm. That's the perimeter of the sector. All right? Is, are you comfortable? Good. Great. We're going to do another few more sums. And then you can take a break. Alright, I'll catch up with you soon.